right, we're on test one, two, three. Can you hear me? Sound check. One, two, three. Testing one, two, three. We're good? Okay, cool. I want to do the Dwight Schrute thing where he pounds on the podium, you know?
folks, we're ready to start. If you'll take your places, come on up. We're ready to begin. Thank you. Come on in. Please feel free to take the seats, and we're ready to start. Come on in. Good morning, everyone. I am so pleased to be here today with our law enforcement and first responder partners, as well as many of the transportation agencies who work together to keep our roads safe. For all of you, the highway is your office, no matter what sort of work you do. Too often, you are at the mercy of speeding vehicles while responding to an emergency, assisting motorists, or performing roadway maintenance. At NJDOT, we have a motto, everyone goes home every night. One way to ensure this is by making sure people are aware of the slow down, move over law. And that is why we are here today, to launch a campaign to increase public awareness and drive home this life-saving message. The campaign was designed to coincide with the start of the busy summer driving season. After a year of staying at home and social distancing, we expect that people will be traveling in greater numbers, which makes this effort even more important. The goal of this campaign is to reinforce the message so it becomes second nature to drivers. When you see a stopped vehicle with emergency lights activated on the side of the road, please move over. And if you cannot, if it is not safe to move over, then please slow down. As a part of this campaign, slow down and move over bumper stickers will be placed on NJDOT and participating agencies' vehicles across the state. The fluorescent pink color of these stickers is not only meant to catch your eye, but matches the emergency signs used at roadway incidents across the United States. These warning signs indicate to motorists that they are approaching an emergency scene and need to slow down and move over. In addition to seeing the bumper stickers on state vehicles, the public will see this life-saving message at one of their favorite stores. I'm pleased to announce that Quick Check convenience stores will display the slow down and move over poster in windows of 72 of their New Jersey stores and 67 gas stations. In addition to the bumper stickers and posters, NJDOT will be using variable message signs and social media to spread the word. So slow down and move over is not a catchphrase. It literally can save someone's life. We are grateful to have Andrew Richards with us today, one of NJDOT safety service patrol operators. I say grateful because this past January, Andrew was assisting the scene of a crash when another motorist struck the back of his SSP truck sending him to the hospital. Andrew, would you please stand so we can acknowledge you? I think, I think the most important part of it 
is that Andrew came back to work. I don't know how many of you have ever stood on the side of a road like the New Jersey Turnpike or 295 with cars zipping past you, I'm sure it's 65 miles an hour. Um, it's, not, it's not fun, it's scary, right? It's very scary. And I give Andrew a lot of credit for his dedication to his job, but also to his dedication to the drivers of the state of New Jersey, both those who live here and who pass through. And just a few weeks ago, Anastasio Sacos, a 14-year veteran of the New Jersey City, New York City Police Department, was struck and killed by a suspected drunk driver at the scene of a crash on the Long Island Expressway in Queens. So far in 2021, there have been 22 first responders and highway workers struck and killed across the country. And there are countless more families who have loved ones who have been injured on the job. Someone who knows this pain all too well is Donna Sotero. Her son, New Jersey State Trooper Mark Castellano, was killed while assisting a roadside crash investigation 11 years ago. As a mother, who actually just saw her son yesterday, I can't imagine her pain. And I know it's a pain that never goes away. She will share her story of loss that sparked a passion to educate the public and help prevent others from feeling the heartbreak that she and her family have experienced. But at this moment, I'm gonna ask you to indulge me for a moment. I'm gonna ask all of you to just close your eyes and imagine you're driving out on the big road, as we like to call it. You're listening to the radio, talking on the phone, taking a sip of your coffee or your Diet Coke. When you look up and see a New Jersey trooper, a tow truck driver, or a safety service patrol professional in the shoulder, rendering aid to a traveler. You have that vision in your head? Now picture that person as a member of your family. What would you do? I simply ask you to do what you would want others to do to keep your family and friends safe. Move over and slow down. It's simple. It is not complex. You have a blinker on your car. They're not options. Put it on. And if it's safe, move one lane over. And if it's not safe, please slow down. I can promise you the seconds that it takes you to slow down and as you pass that scene will not make you late to anything, but it will save a life. And that is what we should be here to discuss today. Most of the time we come to these things and they're really upbeat and we want to you know, really make sure that we get this message out. This is not so much upbeat as it is critical. It is critical to the safety of the men and women that you see standing around you. So I speak to the media. I want you to know how many of these people put their life on the line every day for y'all to get where you need to go. It's just, it's just that simple. And I hope that all of you will take this message so seriously and make certain that you get it out all summer long, every day. Make it a tagline. But moving over is the simplest act you can do to create a safe environment for those who serve us on our roadways. I am so honored to be here with the New Jersey State Police Superintendent, Pat Callahan, who is a dear friend, and the Director of the Division of Highway Safety, Eric Heitman, also a dear friend. We work together every day to make sure we keep our roads as safe as possible. They will provide their perspectives of the importance of this campaign. But before I turn this mic over to our distinguished leaders, I want to thank all of the first responders for all you do to keep motorists safe in New Jersey every day and to the Traffic Incident Management Training Group that are here today. Thank you for providing essential education and training support to those who work on our roadway so that they can safely do their job when duty calls. I encourage members of the public to go to the website, njtim.org, where they can learn more about Traffic Incident Management Program and the important work that they do. That's njtim.org. And at this time, I'd like to ask Pat Callahan to make his remarks. Good morning, everybody. Uh, special thank you to the commissioner, director, and certainly to Donna. Uh, it's hard to believe that this Sunday marks the 11th anniversary of Mark's tragic death. Uh, and I can think of no other person in my 26 plus years that's been a greater advocate for the safety of those on the side of the highway than Donna Sitaro. 
Uh, I think she passed the milestone of uh, educating more than 140,000 high school students about slowing down and moving over. Um, so I just thank you for doing that, Donna. I As I was, as the commissioner was walking us through that, you know, that vision of being on the highway, I think back, back when I was on the road, and I know the troopers around the, uh, around this press conference can attest to, uh, I remember one time being in the front seat issuing a summons and I could hear the car coming down the shoulder on the rumble strips and the rumble strips saved my life because it woke him up and at the last second went by and took off the mirror of my troop car. Um, if we had had the slow down and move over law back then, maybe even that, I would have, you know, I dodged a bullet that day for sure. Uh, and I remember times walking back to the troop car and having to dive onto the hood of the troop car because of inattentive drivers, either on cell phones, under the influence, distracted, eating a, eating a whopper. Um, there's time to do that when you get to where you're going. Uh, and we see a lot of distracted driving. This campaign is going to remind people to do just that. Slow down and move over. In the most densely populated state in the country, this law saves first responders, tow truck drivers, DOT workers. It saves lives. And we need to remind people of that each and every day, and to the commissioner's point, especially as the summer months uh, come about and the parkway and the turnpike and 78 and 80 and 287 and all of our highways and byways are filled with motorists, uh, hopefully focusing on the task at hand, which is getting from point A to B safely. Uh, and I will close just by saying, and we were talking about this before with Donna, that we never forget, we never forget those that have made the ultimate sacrifice and given that last full measure of devotion. But if this campaign saves even one person and one family in the state of New Jersey from the tragedy that Donna has lived through, even to this day, uh, I'm certain that there is not a morning that she wakes up not thinking about her son, Mark. Uh, and I assured her that we will never, ever forget him. Uh, his sacrifice, her sacrifice, and his service to the greatest state in America, the Garden State of New Jersey. So with that, it is my true humble honor to introduce Donna Sitaro, Mark's mom. Thank you, Colonel. Um, as the Colonel told you, on Sunday will be the 11th anniversary of my son's um, passing. After his passing and got through the shock, I realized that very few people knew about the law. In fact, there was a law, but it wasn't even in our driver's manuals. I took it as a mission, personal mission, to educate the public. Number one, my son was extremely interested in education only 19 days before his accident, he received his master's degree. When we cleaned out his desk, we found his application for his doctorate. So he was continuing to do his education, and I feel I'm continuing to do the work that he would want me to do to save the lives of his friends and his coworkers. I wanted to share with you something that I think about every day, especially the last couple months between Mother's Day, Father's Day, his graduation and his passing. I think about his last minutes. The last minutes. He was struck at 70 miles an hour and thrown 205 feet and landed on the blacktop. Those last minutes go through my mind constantly. What did he think? What was he feeling? And why couldn't I be there? The other minutes I think about are the time in the hospital when they realized that there was nothing else we could do. And the triage nurse shut his eyes and taped them shut. And I never ever saw his gorgeous blue eyes again. It's those things, it's those memories that keep me going. And God willing, I'm gonna keep going and try to save lives. It's not about the ticket. It's not about the fine. It's clearly about educating the public so that people will slow down and move over when they see not only first responders and road crews on the side of the road, 
a common courtesy for people just changing their tires. This is serious. New Jersey's crowded. Our young people and our new car, I always tell my young people, the new cars we have, there's a lot of technology in them. They're all a distraction. We need to make sure that we're not distraction, distracted when we work on them. I want to thank the incident um, management group for helping with this. Actually, it's, it's, their, um, it's what they're doing, but I feel like it's an extension of what I'm trying to do. And I am so, so appreciative for anybody and anything that can help. Um, again, educate the public. I want to thank everyone here, and especially those that helped put this together. God bless you, drive safe, and thank you. Thanks, Donna. Thanks for your comments. So good morning, everyone. I'm Eric Heitman. I'm the director of the Division of Highway Traffic Safety. And uh, I'm so glad we could all come together today in person to launch this important statewide slow down move over campaign. So when I think about the slow down move over law, the first word that comes to my mind is courtesy, like Donna said. Our law boils down to simple courtesy and the care and caution we should all instinctively be showing the folks that are working on and around our highways. These folks already have a dangerous job and we can all do something to make it safer for them. It's simple courtesy. So making a traffic stop or emergency stop on the side of the road is one of the most dangerous parts of an emergency responder's job. And it's imperative that we protect these folks that are risking their own lives to protect us. That's why the slow down move over law was created in 2009 and why it was strengthened in 2019. Now failure to slow down or move over for emergency vehicles could result in two points on your driver's license if convicted of this offense three or more times in 12 months. If you see an emergency vehicle with lights flashing on the side of the road while driving, whether it's a police car, an ambulance, a maintenance vehicle, a tow truck, and a, a utility vehicle, a construction vehicle in a work zone, or even a highway lawnmower, I urge you to do what's right and courteous for these workers. Slow down and move over if possible so that they have the space to, they need to, do, to safely do their job. We should always remain alert when driving and pay attention when we see flashing lights up ahead. Highway message boards displaying emergency messages or orange cones on the road when nearing a crash scene, traffic stop or work zone. These are all signs to be extra vigilant reduce your speed and move over if possible. The new slow down move over emergency vehicle bumper stickers that will be placed on emergency vehicles and the posters that will be displayed at quick check stores and gas stations are new reminders that will create awareness with the slow down move over law. The New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety strongly supports this campaign and will continue our awareness efforts until slowing down and moving over becomes more common. Our work in this area will continue until every emergency and roadway worker gets home safely at the end of their shift. We all need to do our part to keep our highways and our highway workers safe. Not just because it's the law, but because it's the right thing to do. Remember, it's simple courtesy that can save lives. Thank you.
Can I just ask our first responders who are here today to come up? Because it's real nice that we're in the picture, but you guys should be in the picture. So if our first responders could come up. Come on, troops. Let's go. Or not. Turnpike folks that are here, DOT folks that are responders.
Does anybody, does any, you want me to ask if anybody has on topic questions, we're willing to take them?